Hey guys, I just want to show you how I removed the tendon from my chicken tenderloin. So I'm just going to take a fork and I'm going to put the tendon between the fork and take a paper towel. You're going to grab the tendon and you're just going to pull it hard as you can up and it pulls it right out. This is just an extra step that I take because I don't like the tendon um, when I'm using chicken tenderloins. You don't have to do this step, but I just wanted to share it just in case you like to. All right guys, so let's get into this recipe. All right guys, so we're gonna start with adding our bouillon cube to the bowl and I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. I'm just using a Knorr chicken bouillon. And like I said, I'm just going to break it up a bit. That way when I add the cream of chicken soup and the gravy, it will all blend together. So I'm just going to be using a gravy packet. I'm using two of them. I actually had a couple um, packets already open. I don't know why I had two different packets open, but I'm going to use both of those. The rest of what's in both of them. But all you would need is just two packets of gravy mix. And as you can see, I'm using two different brands. It really doesn't matter what brand you use unless you have a preference. You could also just do all this in your crock pot, but I like to mix it all in the bowl first and then add it to my crock pot. So we're just going to add a can of cream of chicken soup to this. I'm just grabbing a spoon to get that out of the can. So we're just gonna add that whole can to the bowl. And then we're just gonna fill the can with some water and add that to it. And then we're just gonna mix everything together until it's well combined. I am gonna add a little pepper to this as well just because it's a preference for me, I like pepper but you can just use the ingredients that I gave you, the chicken gravy mix, the cream of chicken soup, and the bouillon, and that gives you a lot of flavor. You don't even have to add the pepper if you don't like. You won't add any salt to this. Trust me, that bouillon is gonna give you plenty of flavor. All right, so now we're just gonna add our mixture to our crock pot just pour it in there it doesn't have to go in any special way because we're going to kind of mix it a little bit with the chicken just to kind of make sure that it's well incorporated in there just not sitting on top of the chicken this is such an easy and delicious recipe guys i would definitely recommend trying this it's easy it's good you can serve it over whatever you want we're going to cook this for four to six hours on high. All right, guys, so it's been four to about four and a half hours. And 
I am going to break up my chicken a little now with my whisk. You can use whatever. But I'm going to break up the tenderloins a little bit. The meat is very tender, so just pressing down on it is going to break it up for me. Like I was saying, guys, you can serve this over anything. You can have this over some egg noodles. You can have it over some rice. You can have it by itself as, uh, with some veggies and a starch for a side. Pretty much any way you like. I'm going to be having it over some rice. And I'm going to show you what how we're going to have ours for dinner. All right, guys, so I'm gonna have it over some white rice with some green beans on the side. I just made a little dip in my rice for it to kind of pour into the middle there. And there you go, guys. This chicken and gravy is just, like I said, so easy, so tasty. Trust me, you are going to like this recipe. So I thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.